<laughs> oh, welcome back to the Jeff Show. Oh, if you don't know what this is, it is a product review show that we do every single day of the year. That's 365 days every day, all the way through the year. Uh, but we really make sure to only physically do it uh, whenever we feel like it. Uh, today is Tuesday, July 14th, <laughs> and I am back here uh, with my good friend and um, and uh, uh, co-host, uh, Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter, it's so good to see you. What a great day. Oh, it's so exciting to be back. Some of you may notice a few differences, uh, and that can be explained, and I'd like to explain them to the best of my ability. Basically, what happened was back in March, I decided I had had enough of this stupid show and this stupid channel, and I decided to take a few months to myself. So I just shut the door of my house, uh, turned off the television, and just enjoyed my life. I just did whatever I wanted to do, and I just thought this this is the greatest planet on earth because I can do whatever I want. I can uh, live the life that I want to lead and just have a gay old time. And I certainly um, did that. Uh, but then I decided to go outside one day, and this was about in early June. And I couldn't find anybody, and the people that I found were all wearing cloth across their mouths, and I was trying to figure out what was going on. And what I realized soon after was there had been a pandemic, a global pandemic. And if you don't know what a global pandemic is, uh, it's basically something that's invisible, uh, that's in the air, uh, that can kill you fast and often painfully. Uh, now, we have reviewed a bunch of things on this show, and I have warned many times of all the various horrible things that could happen to you, including famine and um, certain types of horrible death that are nature-related, and this kind of is that thing. And so if you've been watching The Jeff Show, you are one of the people that has been prepared for such a thing. Uh, but it was certainly uh, unfortunate to walk outside and realize that um, I had missed the majority of what was going on. And unfortunately, what that also meant was that my good friend uh, and, and co-host, uh, Peter, could not come inside my house anymore. And even though he's right over there about five feet away, uh, it's best that we do it this way for a little bit until this is blown over. And I'm sure it'll blow over in a couple of years. Oh, but I'm so excited to be back. You also noticed that I have done a few upgrades. Uh, the first upgrade was we built a new set for The Jeff Show, and we did this because we had had made zero dollars uh, since the show started, and I thought, what better way when I'm out of work um, and have no hope of uh, existing economically through this pandemic than to spend a little money <laughs> and spend it on stuff that makes me look good. And I think this couch is a super cool improvement. Uh, and I think you would agree, Peter, and, and I know you can't sit on it, nor will I ever let you sit on it, especially when you're not wearing a shirt. Uh, but I think you will see one day in 2023 to 24 when there's a vaccine uh, that you are going to love sitting on this couch, Peter. I really do believe that and maybe lying on top of me and then and cuddling on the couch. The other thing is I upgraded a suit and the suit has a long story and I'll tell you the longest part of that story and that is it was my wedding suit. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't able to get married uh, because of the virus. Uh, the virus made it impossible for me to get married and so I decided to take the thousands of dollars I spent on that suit and use it as a piece on the show. And I think it's a pretty smart suit, if you ask me, and I'm not sure um, uh, uh, who made it, but I will certainly reach out to the people who did, um, and I'll let them know that you thought it was smart. And, you know, if you think it's smart, write it in the comments and subscribe to the videos. Anyways, we're so glad to be back. I thought we weren't going to make another video, but it turns out that one of our biggest fans, uh, e uh, e uh, Ethan, uh, from way down in Australia or New Zealand, I can't remember which, he missed the show and he wanted it back. And so I thought to myself, do I do the show? Do I not do the show? And I thought, you know what? For Ethan, I would do just about 
anything physically, emotionally, spiritually, and particularly physically. And so I decided to come back and do this show. So Ethan, this one is for you. Um, Also, you might notice before we get to the review that I no longer have any hair, and that's not because I'm losing it. I decided after a long period of time that I just looked too goofy, and people always thought I looked goofy. And I thought, what better way to look cool than to shave my head and pull a little action star? Um, And I think I do look a little bit like an action star. And if you think I look like an action star, be sure to comment on which one. Um, But I think I look like a really bad action star that can kind of punch people and and fist them um, into obliteration. And um, and I think that's super cool. And I think people are going to really like the new look and certainly um, men and women alike. And, uh, you know, just about everybody is going to want to be, uh, uh, you know, into me. Uh, Cool. So let's get on to the review. Now, some of you may or may not know, and you probably didn't know because I haven't done a show in the last four months, that I bought a Vespa. And a Vespa is a super cool mini motorcycle. And while tough guys ride motorcycles and they look really tough, really, really, really sensitive folks ride Vespas. And I am sensitive. And so I decided to get a Vespa. Now, what's really important is crash protection. And as you all know, it's not a matter of if I crash, I will crash. And I want to make sure that my head, of all things, is protected because how in the world could I do this show if I if I didn't have a protected head? And as you can see, I have a, 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 a really wonderful looking head, wouldn't you say, Peter? <laughs> and I think it is a wonderful looking head and I want to make sure that's protected. So I bought, um, and normally Peter would hand this to me, but I bought a Bell, um, a Bell um, uh, uh, a helmet. And this is a super uh, uh, cool helmet, as you can see. And this is what, uh, this is what they call... Uh, a call, um, a bell and a a qualifier. And this is a full uh, face uh, helmet. And this will protect me if I ever uh, get into a crash. And I see that it's made in China. And China is a wonderful place to have things made because you know it's going to be quality and you know that nothing uh, could ever come out of China that could be bad. And this particularly is not bad. So I thought what I would do is try it on and let you guys know what it looks like. Um, What I can say is that it's very tough and it's certainly um, going to protect me. And I'm going to need to take off my uh, glasses. Now the trick to uh, wearing glasses when you're wearing a helmet like this is you put the uh, you put the helmet on and then you put your glasses back on, and that's kind of the look. And I think this is a super cool look. Uh, what do you think, Peter? And as you can see, the pandemic has really done nothing to improve. Uh, Peter's uh, behavior on the show. Uh, But we'll go ahead and proceed without him. I think it looks pretty cool. And it comes with um, a protection so that if you're in the wind, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but this is uh, a protection for your eyes and for the wind. And it just, you can uh, move it up and down. And it is super hard. Um, I can tell that I am And that didn't hurt at all, what I just did there. And, um, you know, you can... And I don't feel uh, um, anything. This is a really good quality helmet. And uh, and I think if you're going to get a Vespa or some sort of way to crash, I would buy a Bell uh, qualifier. And we'll certainly leave a link 
uh, for you uh, 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 to buy it. And we bought it from some really cool people in Texas, and we'll go ahead and send you uh, that link. It's a motorcycle gear uh, store in Texas. And you can click that link and tell them the Jeff Show sent you, and we'll be happy to get you a, a, a Bell qualifier at hopefully a reduced rate. This has been an incredible return to the Jeff Show. I'm I'm super excited about having come back, and I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this ever again, but I will say this has been an incredible show, and I don't know about you, Peter. You certainly probably uh, didn't deserve the rest of the week off, but I certainly deserve the rest of the week off, and I'm going to go ahead and do that and take that time. If you love the show to get today uh, uh, and you loved our comeback, please uh, smash that subs- uh, subscribe button and those like buttons and let us know how much you missed us and how how much you love the new set and the new outlook for the Jeff show. And we'll go ahead and see you um, uh, next week. <laughs>